All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Portland, Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both all man. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Right hand punches the clinch. Joy gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Another punch to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Volkanovski gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Nice punch by Short. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that one. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kicks were what got the belt from Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down, get him out of his conviction, and just make the fight and stand. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Final seconds of round one. Oh, nice jab. Effective strike. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows. 
knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not throw punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go with round two. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Choice pass is denied. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by both of them. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Volkanovski. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volko. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great. Oh, oh he might be out. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Pushing forward, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. 
so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Volkanovs. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Chor. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Overhand right. Swing and a miss. Good punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes to go. Stuffs that takedown attempt without a shoot. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Volkanovski. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by short. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! What a performance! I'm not sure if that's the way he threw it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by knockout. And...